Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Larry Ulam, and on behalf of Speedway Videos, I'd like to welcome you to another video presentation of auto racing here at the Santa Maria Speedway. Tonight, we're going to singularly feature, feature excuse me, the Hobby Stock Division. The Hobbies will be racing um, by themselves on this tape tonight, so we hope you enjoy the video presentation of the Hobby Stocks. The Hobby Stocks have had some very exciting racing in the last few weeks, especially from that of uh, Dave Thompson of Santa Maria. Dave had won four straight main events until his uh, winning streak came to an end when Gary's Jerry Stewart uh, came in first in the main event last Saturday night. Stewart was a wire-to-wire -wire winner taking the 20-lap race for the first time this season. Charlie Allison of Oceana was second, and he was followed by Thompson, Don, S Don C. of Lompoc, and Todd Hovouter, also of Lompoc. An amazing thing happened last Saturday night in the Hobby Stock Division. There was only one yellow flag thrown throughout the main event. Uh, that happened when Phil Barrow and, um, and Mike Chambers came together in turn three, and uh, that was on the fifth lap. Stewart won the trophy dash while Allison, Barrow, and David Stutz of Santa Maria won their heat races. Dave Thompson leads the Hobby Stockers in the hard-fought battle for the 1988 chat, uh, track championship. The Santa Maria-based driver has 566 points to his credit. Past champion Larry Mickey of Arroyo Grande is in the second spot with 484 points. There's a very close race for third and fourth. Conan Bowers of Santa Maria has 393 points, and Kurt, Kurt Grimes, also of Santa Maria, has 392 points, just one point behind. Ron Sutton is in the fifth spot. Ron is from Grover City, and he has 317 points. So we know that the uh, hobby stock division generates some um, pretty interesting auto racing. Uh, they generate some pretty uh, excited um, uh, comments from the crowd. So we ask that you stay tuned for the next 45 minutes for some exciting hobby stock racing action. This is the number 49 car of Dave Thompson. Dave is the current port point leader in the hobby stock division. Even though David didn't win the uh, win the main event last uh, Saturday night, David is still number one in the points. This is Ron Sutton. Ron is currently fifth in the point standings in the hobby stock division. How are you doing tonight, Ron? Oh, pretty good. Good. Um, I understand um, uh, I, I missed one week here, and during that week that I missed, there was uh, a bit of a controversy as far as the, um, the racing here at the track. Um, it caused you to change, um, change your number on your car to a big, bright orange number 10. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, it they had a incident in, in the main event where they black flagged me because they said I was involved in two accidents. And I was only involved in one of them. And the other car, there was another car that was looked like mine. Uh -huh. And I feel that they got us mixed up. Okay. So that's why I changed the numbers. Now, that was an official decision. Did you protest it? No, well, I went up and questioned them about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And did it, uh, did it do any good? Yeah, they put me back in the main like I should have been. Okay. Did it cost you any money or any points or anything? Mm. No, not really. Not really. Okay. All right. Um, in um, in the in the hobby stock division, okay. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of cars here 
you know, got to have the sponsors in order to in order to keep running because it's exp and it's an expensive thing to do. Uh, who are the main sponsors for your car? Doug's Auto Wrecking, Sutton's Auto Dismantling, Sutton's Odds and Ends, and uh, Pacific Coast Glass and Mirror. Okay. Now you uh, were telling me that you even sponsor some some of the cars out here too, and you are your 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 sponsor name. Sutton's Auto, I mean Sutton's Auto Dismantling. Sutton's Auto Dismantling is you, and Sutton's Odds and Ends are your are your parents. Okay. Now what that shows me is that that you're involved enough in racing to not only come out here and race. You have your own sponsors, but you also sponsor sponsor cars too, and that's kind of the uh, the type of commitment and involvement that we really like to see in the hobby stock division here. Uh, we feel that that's one of the reasons that the Santa Maria Speedway has been here for 25 years because of. Uh, people like yourself who have the dedication and devotion to come out here week after week and to, c to continue to race. Uh, being fifth in the uh, in the point standings, um, is this about where you want to be in the middle of the season, or would you rather be up in first? I would rather be up a little closer to first. Mm -hmm. Do you think that by the end of the season uh, we're going to make a little headway? Do you feel like the car is running well enough to do that? Uh, if I get the problems figured out with the car, I should get up about second or third anyway. Okay, that would be nice. That would be nice to see. Yeah. Okay, how long have you been uh, been racing in the hobby stock division, or racing cars altogether? For 11 years. Okay. Started in 1977. 1977. Is that out here at the San Marie Speedway, or did you start someplace else? I started here. Started here. Okay, it's nice to see someone who's been here for that long and continues to come out. Okay, we thank you very much for the interview, and um, uh, we hope that uh, you, you, know, you do well tonight and you end up in the winner's circle. If you do, we'll come down and we'll say a few words to you afterwards. Okay. Okay, very good. This has been Ron Sutton. Thank you. Okay, we see the hobbies are all lined up. It's getting late into the evening. The weather condition is perfect for racing. And we're just about ready to go. We're here with uh, Larry Thompson, no relation to uh, the point, current points leader Dave Thompson, but uh, Larry Thompson nonetheless. Larry, you were telling me an interesting story about who owns your car. Can you tell me who owns your car? Uh, my 14-year-old son. It is kind of an interesting story. He loves racing. Um, I raced in 86, was out of it in uh, 87, and he wanted to be sure I'd be out here in 88, so he bought a car and bought an old, the fourth placing uh, Camaro in uh, the 86 season, cut the cage out of it, and this is what we're running now. He's done the majority of the work on it. Okay, I was going to say, who's your engine? Uh, who does your engine work? I do the engine work. Okay, and uh, most of the work your, your son does on the car? He does a lot of it, quite a bit of it, yeah. okay. a lot of the welding as well. Okay, how did he earn the money to get you into racing? Uh, <laughs> he went down and got a job. He's working as a box boy at Mesa Market right now, mm -hmm. finances are racing addiction. Okay, so he's not only, uh, not only uh, into racing, addicted to racing, but... Uh, He's also, I guess, um, rather smart. Can you tell me about that? Um, yeah, he's an honor student at Paulding. He's going into high school this year, but uh, he's he's a good boy. Okay. Now, some of the drivers, whether they were joking with me or not, but they said that you're the oldest hobby stock driver. Do you think that's true? Well, I'm 41 today, so I, I don't know. <laughs> Do you think they were just kind of pulling your leg as far as uh, Larry Thompson, let's get him, huh? I think so. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been racing uh, cars? Um, my first year was 1979. I haven't raced steady, but off and on over the years. Mm -hmm. Just something you can't get you can't get out of your system once you get started. Yeah, I know. I can understand that. Okay. And is Santa Maria your uh, your main track? Is are you I mean you're a local driver? Is this where you started? Right, right here in Santa Maria. We live out in the Pomo. Okay. Um, you know, we we look. Uh, to the hobby stock div division for really a lot of dedication and racing. You know, and the hobby stocks don't get, I think, the credit that they deserve for the amount of time and the money that they put into their race cars. But yet, you know, we have, whenever there's a race with hobbies, you know, we have always, we always have cars here. So I think the Santa Maria Speedway owes you, you guys as drivers a lot of, uh, a lot of credit and, uh, you know, your sponsors and, and your car builders and that sort of thing. So we w want to thank you guys for coming out here week after week and, and putting on, you know, such good shows. They're always interesting. It's a lot of work. It is. It's a, it's a grind, mm -hmm. but uh, it's rewarding. Yeah, well, good. We're glad that it's rewarding enough for you to keep showing up here week after week because we enjoy watching you guys drive. Well, I'd like a payday once.
once in a while. <laughs> okay. All right, well, we thank you very much for the interview, Larry. Thank you for the interesting story, and uh, we hope you do well tonight. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Larry Thompson. <laughs> Okay, we're here with um, Mike Chambers, and uh, Mike Chambers is the driver of car number 33. Mike, how long have you been driving cars in the hobby stock division? Uh, we've been doing it four years, I quit for two, and it's my first year back. Okay, uh, s this, this being your first year back, how are you doing? Yeah, we're just fine. You can start to get somewhere. Are you? Yes. Okay. Um, main sponsors, who pays the bills for your cars? SE Chambers Construction mainly, and uh, custom, Days of Custom Concrete and Auto Tire. Those are my main sponsors. Okay. Um, now, you are the car owner, correct? Yes, my wife and I. Okay, your wife and you. Who's, who's the, the main mechanic? Uh, I try to be. <laughs> Do you? Do you? Yeah. Okay. Do you have anybody else work on the car but yourself? Uh, we got a little 16-year-old boy that comes over and helps. That's all I got. Your 16 years old? No, he's a neighbor kid. Oh, okay. That's all we got. Okay, because we just heard an interesting story from Larry Thompson, how his son helps him work on his car. Um, but uh, mainly it's a 16-year-old boy who's a, who's a friend. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you going to continue to keep coming out here to the San Marino Speedway all year? We're going to try. Are you? As long as we can make it, we'll try. Okay. That's the, th that's the sort of thing that we, we uh, see that's happening in the hobby stock division, the, the dedication and the devotion of, uh, of drivers who may not say be, be big time, but you guys keep coming out week after week, and that's what we like to see here at the Santa Maria Speedway. That's why we've been here for 25 years, and so we appreciate you know, drivers such as yourselves who, uh, you know, who keep coming back, who show that kind of devotion to racing. Uh, is, it an, is it an addiction to you? Yeah, it's been in our family for quite a while, so... Has it? I'm still carrying it on. The, where, the, was, your, was your dad a driver, or...? Yeah, he raced here back in 70, from 73 to 84, uh -huh. he raced here. Does he still drive? No, he retired from it, finally. <laughs> okay, he's probably still got the addiction, and is probably up there in the fans somewhere watching, I, you know. Okay, uh, well, we thank you very much, uh, Mike. Um, we, we hope that you do well tonight, and uh, continue success in, uh, in racing. Okay, thank you very thank much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that concludes our interviews with some of the drivers in the hobby stock division. The hobbies are out wheel packing the track right now, getting it set for tonight's racing action. Within just a few minutes, we're going to be set for some exciting action in the hobby stock division, so stay tuned for that.
Series out of Santa Barbara driving car 31. 21-1-6-1 time on Ray Parker. Car number five out of Los Olivos being driven by Eric McNamara. The one lap record at San Marino Hobby Stock Division is an 18-749. And it's been on the book since 1982. It was sent by Robert Matthews of Santa Maria. 18-749 is a track record. A 20.712 for Eric McNamara in car number five. Out to qualify, car 75 out of Arroyo Grande, two-time track champion, Larry Mickey. J. 
Jimmy Linderholm. Car 35 out of Fremont, California, by way of Morro Bay, Willie Womack.
557, David Barker. Car 99 on a long boat, George Pauly. is back. 
halftime for car 21, Conan Bowers. Out to qualify, car 33, Mike Chambers.
Her wardrobe is by Susie's Casuals of the Santa Maria Town Center Mall. Her hobbies are singing. She says she doesn't have a favorite driver as yet, but we figure by the time the night's over, her favorite driver will be Kurt Grimes. She's being introduced to Kurt right now. And the bouquet supplied by William R. Tomasini, a little something fine flowers and gifts. At 205 North Broadway in Santa Maria, we thank them. Good patrons here at the Santa Maria Speedway. Our dash winner, Kurt Grimes. A round of applause for our trophy girl, Tracy Johnson, who always does a super job to thank Dorenbro Airport Auto Center for the use of that beautiful Lincoln Mark 7. Love Day Camille, we thank you. You're the driver of that car. It'll also be the pace car for the balance of the racing this evening. one hobby stock division will run three heat races top seven finishers in each heat race will transfer to tonight's hobby stock feature the cars are lined up based on a handicap system the drivers with the most points in first start in the rear Larry Mickey is currently running second in the point standings coming in. Looking for green this time. Starter Darrell Walker checks the lineup. Has green in his hand. He'll check the lineup. Looks good. Got a slow start. We're racing.
lead is from Gary, California. In fact, he's listed as one of the bad boys from Gary. Jerry Stewart, he won the feature last week. He's on a roll. Second place, Bobby Johansson, car 66. In third place, car 39, out of the Pomo, Larry Thompson. All right, now we go to the heat races. Mighty Mitch. Stock division, eight laps racing. This is heat number two. Again, the top seven will qualify to the feature tonight. We're green. And Conto. division out of Santa Maria. He was in third place in the standings coming in, just picked up points for that. Car number 21, Conan Bowers. Second place car number 11, Charlie Allison. Third place car 81, Gary Rayborn. Midget, heat coming up. Heat number two coming up. And again, Paul Martin. 
Thank you, Don. For four, car number three, Todd Hovatter. Outside of him, car number six, Charlie Dowdy. Row number four, car 35, Willie Womack. Next to him, car 34, Kurt Grimes. In the back row, the new driver tonight, car 69. First time out at Santa Rio Speedway. Car being driven by Kimmy Black out of Santa Barbara. Alan Wright, your early leader. Thompson, the driver is Larry Thompson. Car 
number 86. Out of Santa Maria, sponsored by City Motors Towing, by Mid-State Machine, by Grady Claymore Auto Body, by Mufflers and more, driver Mike Myers. Good circle eight out of Pismo Beach. Sponsored by himself, he's looking for local sponsors. Good driver, driver Ricky Patterson. Car 03 out of Santa Barbara, sponsored by Karma Auto Service, by Body Work in Santa Barbara, by Parker Trucking, by Freedom Signs, driver J.D. Smith. Car 18 out of Santa Rita, sponsored by Central Parts Auto Salvage, by Custom Colors, by Car in the Engines, driver Dave Stutz. Car 66 out of Atascadero, sponsored by Bill White Construction, Templeton Floor Company, Dirkman Trucking, Terry Air, Hoover's Hacienda, driver Bobby Johansson. Car number three out of Longboat, sponsored by Motorcycle City, by Grump Racing, that's Grump Racing, by Valley Products, by Pirate Security Systems, by Baskin Robbins, in the Suzuki Special Driver, Todd Ovetter. Car number 11 out of Oceano, sponsored by Sutton's Odds and Ends, by Ken's 24-Hour Towing, by Sutton's Dismantling, Sarah Auto Dismantling, and Interstate Batteries Driver, Charlie Allison. Car number 6 out of Aurora Grandy, sponsored by Wright Heating and Air Conditioning, by Tuffy's RV, Buds Used Tires, Color Glow West, Carroll Building Company, Radiator Express, and Kenny's Eating Driver, Charlie Dowdy. Car number 10 out of Grover City, sponsored by Sutton's Auto Dismantling, 7-Day Tire and Wheel, d and Odom Enterprises, Austin's Mobile, Lloyd's Bailing Service, Doug's Auto Wrecking Driver, Rapid, Ron Sutton. Car 22 out of Longpoke. One of several cars for sale, a for sale sign on that car, sponsored by Waltz Mobile, by Perfect Tin, by Werner Construction, by Syncopated Sounds, and the Pegasus Special Driver, Don C. Car 35 out of Fremont, California, sponsored by Bob Berg Mac Tools, by Rising Sun Racing in Fremont, by Ed Adler Bail Bonds, by Shorty and Sons Automotive, by Bomar Security, Driver Bill Womack. Car number four out of Gary, California, sponsored by the Gary Store, by Three Sons Auto Body, by Mufflers and more, by Plantail Nursery, by TNF Wood Products, the bad boy from Gary, California, Jerry Stewart. Car 21 out of Santa Maria, sponsored by Santa Maria JCs, by J and J Janitorial, by Miller's Hardwood and Flooring, by Sentinel Oaks Ranch, by Custom Colors, and a special thanks to VIP construction driver Conan Bowers. Car 34 out of Santa Maria, sponsored by Oliver's Towing, by K&K Concrete, by Sentinel Oaks Ranch, by Mel's Custom Shop, and by Custom Colors driver Kurt Grimes. Car 75 out of Arroyo Grande, sponsored by Sierra Auto Dismantling, by DNL and l Auto Wrecking, by Doug's Auto Wrecking, by Custom Welding, by Joe Mickey, 1981 and 85 hobby champion Larry Mickey. Car 49, points leader coming in tonight. Had a little trouble making the show. He did. He's out of Santa Maria. He's sponsored by John Goodman's attorney of law. By the Turtle Inn, by Santa Maria Diesel, by Santa Maria Texaco. And a special thanks to the crew of car number 86. That's Mike Myers for getting the car together for this show. Driver Dave Thompson.